Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm showing you three easy meals that are healthy, they are actually gluten free and dairy free and easy to make at home. So if you're interested, just keep watching. The first meal I'm making is pan fried pasta with veggies. My husband loves it and so does my two year old daughter. So this is something that we often make because it's so easy and healthy. A lot of the ingredients I'm showing you guys are frozen. I usually try to buy fresh, but with everything going on right now, it was definitely hard to find fresh produce, so frozen it is. But you'll need some chicken breast, broccoli, cauliflower, lemon, garlic, and then of course pasta, artichoke hearts, just a little bit of salt and pepper, and then the red chili pepper flakes is totally optional if you like a little spice. So right now I'm just putting a little bit of olive oil on the chicken and I'm going to pop that in the oven for about a half hour. So once the chicken is in the oven and cooking, I'm going to start on the rest of the meal. The first thing I like to do is boil my pasta. Like I said, I'm using gluten-free, but you can totally use whatever you prefer. This little kitchen gadget is to peel all of the garlic skin. It is so amazing. You just pop the garlic in there, roll it around, and it comes right off best seven dollars I've ever spent. I also have this linked below in my description box if you guys are looking for something similar. I like to add the garlic first so that that can saute on its own and then I add veggies. Then once the chicken is cooked, I cut that up and I add it to the pan of veggies and garlic. Now I'm adding my artichoke hearts and I wish I had some on hand, but I love to add sun-dried tomatoes too to this dish. It's really, really good. I like to add the pasta last just to make sure that everything is cooked really well and then I will season it with a little salt and pepper and I'll let it sit on the pan for like five to ten minutes. I kind of like the noodles to get a little crispy. I personally love red chili pepper flakes, but definitely leave this off if you're feeding it to your child. And then I always go in with a fresh squeeze of lemon at the end. It just helps bring out all the flavors. And that's the finished product. Next, I'm making teriyaki stir fry. I absolutely love this meal. Once again, it's a great way to get a lot of veggies in, and this is also gluten-free and dairy-free. So I get these rice ramen noodles from Costco, same with these stir-fry veggies. And we will also be adding chicken and cabbage. You can leave the chicken out too if you just want it to be a vegetarian meal. I like to add the chicken first because it takes the longest to cook and then while that's in the oven, I will prep the rest of my ingredients.
while the ramen noodles are cooking, I'm going to pan fry the veggies. So I like to use sesame oil here because sesame just gives it more of that like Asian stir fry feel other than olive oil. So if you have it, definitely reach for sesame for this meal. I'm adding fresh cabbage to the frozen veggie mix. And I have two separate pans going because Nick and I wanted to make a huge meal so that we could have leftovers for the next day. So this was the only way we could do it. I don't have a pan big enough. But I'm also adding a little bit of coconut aminos. You can get these from like Trader Joe's or Whole Foods. I totally forgot to add garlic earlier, but I'm adding it in now. Once the veggies are cooked really well, I like to add the noodles next, give it a stir, and then we will top it off with the chicken. Now I'm adding my teriyaki sauce. Next, I'm adding toasted sesame seeds. This is not necessary, but it definitely adds more of that stir fry feel and it tastes really good. I notice a huge difference when I leave these off. So if you have sesame seeds, definitely add them. Okay, that's it for the teriyaki stir fry. Let me know if you guys try this meal out. The next meal I'm showing you guys is my vegan bowl recipe. So I usually make this for a quick lunch, but you'll need some cucumbers, spinach, cherry tomatoes, an avocado, some rice, I got that from Trader Joe's, some lentils, which are also from Trader Joe's, and then this green goddess salad dressing that is also from Trader Joe's. I actually think all of these ingredients are. Um, you can find them at other places too. But the first thing I'm gonna do is just pop the rice in the microwave and cook that up. I'm washing all of my produce right now and then I'm going to chop everything up and just add it to a bowl. This is so simple and easy to make, and as you guys can tell, very healthy for you. I know it might seem a little weird with all of those ingredients mixed together, but I promise you it is delicious. So also let me know if you guys give this a try. Tag me on Instagram, and I will see you guys in the next video.